South Korea and the U.S. have been saying that the canceled high-level talks between North Korea and the U.S. were called off due to North's lack of preparation. But there's also speculation that the reason may have been their differences over the easing of sanctions on the regime. Our Park Kijun explains. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, says the planned high-level talks between U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and his North Korean counterpart Kim Yong-chol was postponed by the North simply due to the regime's lack of readiness. We continue to stand ready to talk, but I don't think that there was some major issue. Um, I have talked with um, the administration, and basically what we're looking at is they postponed it because they weren't ready, and Secretary Pompeo and the administration stand ready to talk. The two sides were supposed to meet in New York on Thursday. Despite the abrupt cancellation, Haley says she believes the talks will be rescheduled and that President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un will meet next year. But because the North hasn't taken any significant steps on denuclearization, Haley says sanctions have to remain in place. And according to CNN, that may be the actual reason the meeting was called off. Citing various officials following the negotiations, CNN reports North Korea was really angry the U.S. has yet to give them any sanctions relief. It added the North probably decided it wouldn't get much out of the talks without the U.S. making such a gesture. South Korea's special presidential advisor Moon Jong-in also says the meeting was canceled because of Pyongyang and Washington's differences on the sanctions issue. Emphasizing the importance of easing the sanctions to move forward, he called on China to play a bigger role by discussing it with President Trump when they meet on the sidelines of the upcoming G20 summit in Argentina. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.